God's anger is righteous and it is coming after the next three days. The Chosen One Can you sense the urgency of these words? Be of alert mind and give this message your next 11 minutes because you are chosen and this message will be a lifesaver. The Holy Spirit allows us to look into the future through different channels such as visions, dreams and direct whispers in our hearts. But what if I told you that you have only three days left to prepare for the biggest crisis, the wrath of God on earth? The signs are all around us. Yet, only a few are paying attention toward what God is commanding us. The Holy Spirit told me that right before the three days of the biggest day on earth, when God will return with all glory, there will be an announcement by every prophet, preachers and the faithful individuals across the globe. They will speak the word of God and their mouth shall prophesy the upcoming righteous anger of God. They will speak the word of God as this message where God will convey to all of us that My beloved children Listen to the words of your Father in heaven. My righteous anger is coming and you have only three days left to prepare. In these last moments, you must awaken your spirit and ready your hearts to meet me. For this is your call to be prepared to be vigilant and to be worthy of living with me for eternity. In these final three days, let every breath be a prayer, every thought a reflection of my love, and every action a testament to your faith. The Holy Spirit has granted you the vision to see what lies ahead. The time has come to use that vision wisely to prepare yourself and those you love for the divine encounter that is imminent. This message is not one of fear but of hope and urgent love. You are chosen and because of that you have the privilege and the responsibility to heed these call. Your readiness will be a shield. Your faith will be a fortress. And your love for me will be the light that guides you through the coming storm. My child, on the day one, you need to reflect and repent. Begin your preparation by looking inward. Reflect on your life, your actions and your heart. Seek out the corners of your soul where sin may have taken root. Confess your transgressions and repent. Understand that repentance is not just an apology but a transformation. It is a commitment to turn away from sin and to walk in the light of my love. As you repent, feel my forgiveness wash over you. My love for you is infinite and I am always ready to welcome you back 
into my embrace. Let go of your guilt and shame, for they are chains that bind your spirit. In their place, accept my grace and mercy. Know that every tear you shed in true repentance is a step closer to me. On day two, you need to reconcile and restore. Use this day to mend the broken relationships in your life. Reach out to those you have wronged and offer sincere apologies. Seek to understand and to heal the wounds you have caused. Just as I have forgiven you, so must you forgive others. Reconciliation is the path to peace, and it is through peace that you will find me. Restore the bonds of love and friendship. Speak the words of kindness and encouragement. Let your actions reflect the love you have for one another. For in loving each other, you are loving me. This day is your opportunity to build bridges, to tear down walls, and to create a community of love and undeniable support. On day third, prepare and pray. For this final day, you have to focus on strengthening your spirit and your resolve. Immerse yourself in prayer and meditate in the word of the Bible. Let my words be the foundation upon which you stand. Read the holy scriptures, for they are the map that will guide you to me. Let every verse be a reminder of my promises and my unwavering love for you. My children, do not waste these moments. Do not be distracted by the chaos of the world. Focus on what is eternal. Your soul is of immeasurable value to me, and I want nothing more than for you to be prepared to meet me. This is not a time for complacency, but for action. Be vigilant, be faithful, and be ready. My righteous anger will come, but so will my eternal embrace. Be prepared to meet me and to live with me forever. With all my love, your Heavenly Father. So this is the message every living individual will receive right before three days of divine judgment and know that child of God. Many people view God only as a loving and merciful father who always forgives, giving second chances. While it's true that God is merciful, but he is also just and holy, which means he can get angry too. This aspect of God is important to understand because it shows that what we must do to have a relationship with Him. Unlike human anger, which can be impulsive and vengeful, God's anger is just and serves to remind us that sin has serious consequences. God's anger is a reaction to sin because sin is destructive. If God didn't get angry at sin, he would be ignoring its harmful effects. The Bible tells us that God is holy and just and that those who sin deserve to face the consequences of their own actions. Many Christians may not be aware of this aspect of God but it is important to see the whole picture. The Old Testament
contains many stories where entire nations were punished for their sins. For example, Egypt was punished with ten plagues because they enslaved the Hebrews and refused to let them go, living a life of immorality and idolatry. Similarly, when God's own people, the Israelites, broke their covenant with him, they faced his wrath. The book of Numbers shows how the Israelites, despite witnessing God's miracles, rebelled against him and longed for their time in the Egypt. This ungratefulness angered God, who then declared that those who treated him with contempt would not see the promised land. Some might think anger was the only in the Old Testament and that God has changed. But that is not true. The Bible says God does not change. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul writes that God's wrath is revealed against all ungodliness and injustice. This means everyone has sinned and deserves the consequences of God's anger. The only reason we are not destroyed is because of Jesus Christ. His sacrifice saved us from eternal condemnation and reconciled us with God. God is currently angry with the sins happening in the world. But his grace through Jesus holds back complete destruction. Those who reject Jesus and continue in their sins will face the consequences of their choices on the judgment day. So if you have already chosen Jesus Christ and if you believe that you are being prepared to meet him in eternity, then please do join me in this powerful and beautiful prayer. Together, we go to our Father in prayer. Heavenly Father, in this sacred moment, we come before you with the hearts open and spirits yearning for your presence. We acknowledge your righteous anger that is soon to come, and we humbly seek your guidance and mercy. We are your children, chosen by your grace and we recognize the urgency of these final days. Help us, O Lord, to prepare ourselves fully for the divine encounters that awaits us. Father, we begin by confessing our sins and seeking your forgiveness. We have strayed from your path and allowed sin to take root in our hearts. We repent of our wrongdoings and ask for your cleansing power to wash over us. Purify our hearts, O Lord, and make us worthy of your presence. Lord, show us the areas where we have fallen short and help us to make amends. Give us the humility to seek forgiveness from those we have wronged and the grace to forgive those who have wronged us. Lord, in these final days, we seek to draw closer to you through prayer and meditation. Open our hearts and minds to your Holy Spirit. Let your words be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We ask for your guidance as we prepare our homes and our hearts for your coming. Help us to create a sanctuary where we can feel your presence and find peace. Surround us with reminders of your love and faithfulness. Let our homes be filled with the light of your truth and the warmth of your love. Heavenly Father, we pray for our loved ones and those around us. Help us to be a beacon of light and hope in their lives. Give us the words to speak of your love and the courage to share this urgent message. Lord, we know that righteous anger is not the end but the beginning of a new chapter with you in eternity. It is the cleansing fire that will renew the world and bring us closer to you. This is the reason, Lord, we thank you for your infinite love and mercy. 
We thank you for choosing us and for giving us this opportunity to prepare. We look forward to the day when we will meet you face to face and live with you for all eternity. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.